So lunch. Well, I love soup for lunch. And some people, I have some friends who make a whole bunch of soup and they stick it in their freezer and they have it and that's great. But not all of us have time to do that. So sometimes we might pull out maybe a can of soup from the grocery store. And these soups have gotten better. They have chunkier vegetables than maybe they did five years ago or so. They have bigger chunks of meat. They make light versions. This one is a light southwestern style vegetable. So they have, uh, they have some better options. But if I look on the ingredients, there are some things that I don't know what they are. Do you know what they are? I think I need to be a chemist to figure out what they are. I'm sure they're safe. The FDA said they're safe. But have you ever eaten a can of soup and thought, oh, that was so good? I haven't. I mean, it does the job. It gives you the nutrients. It fills you up and sends you off. But it really, I don't think I've ever said, oh, that is just the best soup I've ever had. So I'm going to show you how to make a homemade soup using fresh ingredients that you have in your pantry. And that's what I call it. It's called whatever is in your pantry soup. And you'll see why in just a second. So the first thing we do is we take an onion. And I was talking to a friend of mine the other day. She came by the warehouse and she was talking about how she didn't know how to cut an onion. And I thought about that. Do you chase your onion around the board? Are you trying to cut it in little pieces and you slice it? Well, I'm going to show you how I cut an onion. So first you peel it, and then we're just going to cut, just cut that tip off. So now we have a flat surface that we can put on our board, and that onion's not going anywhere. And then I take my knife, and I cut straight down through the root, just straight down through the root. And we're just going to use half an onion for this recipe. So now I have my half an onion, and I put it down on my board. It's not going anywhere. And someone told me, I don't know if it's an old wise tale, but if you leave the root intact, it won't make your eyes tear up. I don't know if that's true, but that's, that's one theory. All right, and then you take your knife, and you slice down almost to the root, but not all the way to the root. That root is going to hold it together so nothing goes away. So we just slice down through. And just make regular slices and my onions still together. I don't have to chase any pieces anywhere. And then I go back the other way and slice down and I have perfect diced onion. Just slice right down. And it's not, it's staying right where I want it to stay. So that's my little healthy hack on how to cut an onion. So back to our soup. So we take our diced onion and we toss it in a pan that we put just a little bit of olive oil just to coat the bottom, or maybe you're using a nonstick pan. Or you have spray, you could spray it and that would work. So we're going to saute our onion. And Helen, let's see how long it takes us to make this soup. So we're going to saute our onion for five minutes. So we're going to start with our five minutes. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take some beans. We're going to take two cans of beans. And what kind of beans are they? Well, I have black beans here. But you know what kind of beans you could use? whatever's in your pantry. If you have kidney beans or cannelloni beans or black eyed peas, whatever you have in your pantry can go in this soup. So we got our two cans of beans. All right, next we're gonna add broth. Now you might have little broth cubes. You might have these kind in the little jar or you might have broth in a carton or a can. Whatever kind of broth you have, that's the kind you're going to use because it's what's in your pantry. So we're going to add three cups of broth to our soup. All right, Helen, where are we on our time? We've dumped in our beans and we've dumped in our broth. Right now we're at six minutes. All right. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is, and one quick note, let's go back to the onions for a minute. If you have some other vegetables in your fridge, maybe some carrots or some zucchini or some green pepper, you would saute those with your onions. Just whatever vegetable you have in there, that's when that would go in. All right, so back to it. We've got our onions and our broth and our beans, and now we're gonna add something in our freezer. So what's in our freezer? You might have a bag of corn, or a bag of California mix, or a bag of peas, or a bag of peas and carrots. Just whatever frozen food you have in your freezer, that's what you would put in now. Helen, this seems like a good time for another poll. Let's okay. ask them, what is better, fresh or frozen, vegetables and fruit? All right, guys, I'm launching the poll, so you just have to pick fresh or frozen. Okay, looks like they're going fast, Lisa. They know how to do the poll now. We got it. All right. Look how fast they are. All right, I'm going to count down 10, 9, 8, 7, 
six, five, four, three, two, one. All right. We have 51 responds now. 35 people picked fresh. That's 67%. And 16 people picked frozen. All right. So fresh seems to be winning the poll. But you might be surprised to find out that that's not always the case. Fresh, they pick fresh before it's ripe because they know that it's got to get on that truck and it's got to travel all the way to the store from wherever it came from and it takes a while to get there. So they pick it before it's ripe, so less nutrients, and then it travels all the way to the store, losing even more nutrients before it gets into the bin where we can pick it and take it home. So the difference is frozen, they pick those when they're ripe and they freeze them right then. They pick them and freeze them. So a lot of times it retains all those nutrients that we've lost, maybe picking too early and driving in the truck. So most of the time, or a lot of the time, but not with every vegetable, but most of the time, frozen is has the more nutrients. So that's surprising. All right, so we put in our frozen vegetables. What do we need next? How about some spices? If you want to, if you had black beans like I did, you might want to do a little southwestern, maybe have some corn in there. So you might add some cumin. And I'm from Texas, so I like to add some salsa. Either I choose a medium salsa, but maybe you like a hot salsa, or maybe you like a mild salsa if you're not from Texas. <laughs> I don't want to pick on y'all people not from Texas. So anyway, I like a little salsa, and I just put a little, just a half a cup. And that adds a little tomato, it adds a little jalapeno, a little spice. So that just kicks up the flavor a little bit. So that's another thing you can add if, if you want to. So there, so Helen, we've got everything in our soup and now we're gonna simmer it for five minutes. So what's our total time on this soup? Um, based on my calculation, it looks like we're right at about 12 minutes. That's so, pretty amazing. So 12 minutes for a fresh homemade soup using whatever's in our pantry. 